Hello, my name is Agatha. My email is uniasa.gmail.com uh, and I'm a tarot reader, a writer and a ghost writer. If you'd like to work with me as a ghost writer, please write to duniazara.gmail.com uh, You can give an amazing original gift to a loved one, to your father, mother, son, daughter, niece, grand, grandkid, uh, best friend, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife. Uh, I'll write a completely uh, original story, for instance, a 15,000 word novelette. It's only $700 and you'll give it uh, to your loved one and they will also own the rights and who knows maybe one day they sell it to hollywood and they'll give you like a house to say thank you <laughs> so if you're interested write to duniazada.gmail.com so i'm gonna do a reading for keanu reeves and alexander grant this is for entertainment purposes only i do not know them okay I'm just going to read the cards, okay? I'm going to use a deck from Kiro Marchetti, I don't know the name, I'm sorry. And I'm going to use the... Um, uh, a 10 card spread, which is the Celtic Cross. And I'll also I'm going to use one card from the Messenger Oracle as, a, as an advice card. So, what does the future hold for... Uh, Keanu Reeves and Alexander Grant for the next 12 months because apparently they are in a relationship. I don't know if that's true or not. I just read it on the internet. I have no idea. So what does the future hold for both of them uh, in their relationship, whatever relationship they have for Keanu Reeves and Alexander Grant for the next 12 months? This is more or less from the middle of September 2022 to August 2023. Okay, 12 months. Alexander Grant... And Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves and Alexander Grant. What does the future hold for their relationship for the next 12 months? Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't sue me. So, I'm going to cut. I'm going to take 10 cards. One, two, okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so many major arcana cards do they have they have one two three oh wow one two three no one two three four four major arcana cards so it's interesting it's interesting uh, what is the advice? What is the advice? I'm going to use one card for from the messenger oracle. What is the advice for both of them uh, concerning this relationship of Ken Reeves and Alex Alexander Grant? So I'm going to take one card. Stay strong. Okay. I don't know to whom this is di directed. <laughs> It's 45, okay, 45, stay strong, interesting. So this is, I'm going to read from it. We all experience moments in our lives when we feel confused, unfocused and surrounded by chaos and turmoil. These moments are often unavoidable, as are the lessons these moments can impart. But how you respond to them is a choice only you can make. Take a deep breath and a, a moment to pause and reconnect with Gaia and nature. Seek the silence of the void within, will, within whilst your spirit spirals downward to anchor itself like an ancient tree root in the cleansing embrace of the earth beneath you. I think this is advice is for Keanu, right? It's what I think. Uh, I think this is the advice for Keanu, also for her, for Alexander Grant. Okay, to connect more deeply inside herself. Now, we have the moon, so secrets will come to light. Secrets will be revealed. This could also mean manipulation. This could also mean... Uh, I don't know, from both of them, from one to the other, I have no idea. Uh, this could be 
trauma bonding. Do you understand this? This could be to, to, uh, lots of ups and downs in terms of emotion. Uh, lots and lots of fear. This is also secrets coming out, manipulation, lying, deceiving. I'm sorry, okay. Now, that which is yet not seen, we have the strength card, which is a card connected with Leo. I've seen her chart and apparently she she has a um, rising sign in Leo and she has the moon, no, the sun and the Venus in Aries, which is interesting. I don't know where the moon is. I don't remember now. So this could represent Alexandra. So secrets coming to light, connecting with her. Maybe she's trying to be domineering in this relationship and that will be more and more visible within the next 12 months. Or a secret coming to light concerning a third party, a Leo woman, Sun, Moon or Rising. Now, the root, we have the two of swords. Someone is not seeing things clearly, which uh, uh, tells me to go back to this card, stay strong. Oh, I'm sorry, I read the... no? I read the wrong card. Oh, this is number 43 and I read the number 45. Oh, interesting. Interesting, there's no mistakes. Okay, there's two advices. So, stay strong is life will present you with many trials. Life will bring you times of joy but also times of suffering, like the weather, it can be unpredictable, harsh and cruel, but you can endure all that comes. Know when to resist and know when to let go. Know that sometimes you will lose, but that loss can make you stronger at the core. Stay strong. With hope and faith, you can, you can endure all. Okay, okay, there could be a loss. This relationship and this, uh, this advice could be for both of them, not just just for one. But it's interesting that I, I made a mistake, but there's no mistakes. Okay? So, this is a relationship where something is hidden. Okay? There are secrets. And within the next 12 months, secrets will come to light. S both of them don't see something. They don't see each other properly. They don't follow their intuition. They kind of just follow their mind. I would say both of them. Um, maybe this is Kiano who doesn't follow his intuition and he's kind of blinded by her, I don't know, and just uh, he's not listening to his feelings and intuition, he's kind of listening to his head, it, this is not working out, this could also be true to her, for her, okay? So it's like there's no connection with the emotions, I would say. Now, the past connected with the present and the future, we have the Seven of Wands. Now, from what I've read, and I've, I like to go to the internet, okay, uh, it felt like she kind of is always was always around him, and he kind of defended, defended, defended himself from her, but maybe she just was kind of insistive, insisting that it, it I don't know, it helped her have a relationship with Keanu, I have no idea, but there's like a, an energy of uh, don't come closer, let me be, let me be alone. This could be from those, both of them. Honestly, from what I've read, I think this is more from Keanu. It, it feels like she tired him and she won. <laughs> I don't know, I could be wrong. Now, that which is in their mind or that which they want, this is more that that which is in their mind. We have the Nine of Swords, and this is a woman. I would say she's worried. She's worried within the next 12 months that this relationship ends. And I don't know if this relationship is connected with love or it's just their friends or just business relationship. Could be all three of them. Could just be one of them. I don't know. But she's worried that it ends. She's really, really worried. She's. I would say she's worried that something comes out, comes up, comes out, a secret comes out and will make Keanu end this. I would say also that she's trying to hide that she's domineering, that she's like uh, controlling. So this could be also him, he, he doesn't like this relationship, but it's just causing him uh, sleep, sleepless nights, um, it's not a good feeling. It, honestly, it feels like more her. She's, she's the one who seems to be a bit more worried. Now, 
the next two to three months, September, October, November, December, November, December, we have the sun. The sun also relates to the moon in the sense that it also tells me that something will be, there will be light given to something. Something will be given light in clarity, okay? So again, this tells me secrets that come out. Something will come out. Something will be revealed. November, December, even a bit uh, later than that. If it's not that, it could be some sort of happiness, okay? It could be a secret that is revealed that will bring happiness for both of them. I don't know, okay? This could also be a creative project that makes them both very happy. Um, now, the next card represents... Okay, the relationship, one can say. We have the Three of Coins. So, the Three of Coins is a card connected with being a master. A master in terms of, for instance, an artist. Uh, this could represent an artist, so this could represent both of them. But I see a man. Okay, so I would say that this represents more um, Keanu. I would say that Keanu kind of uses work as an excuse not to be around Alexandra Grant. That's what I see. It, it, it's, I'm just reading the cards, okay? Plus he has a lot of Virgo. Virgos do that. They just, you know, go into their work. So it's like... He will hide, if this makes any type of sense, within his work. So he'll be better and better at it. He will make it so good just not to be around her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just feels like hiding. It feels like that. It feels like hiding. So he'll have a lot of work to do. He, have, he will have a lot of projects. He will spend a lot of time doing that. Now, the next card represents maybe how this is seen by others, this relationship is seen, or could represent Alexander because I see a woman. We have the Seven of Coins. This is a harvest card. So there will be a harvest connected with this relationship and connected with, I would say, Alexandra. What is the harvest? The harvest could be all sorts of things. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, okay? You invest something, you invest in a relationship, and then you have the harvest. What is the harvest? Could be the, the, um, the relationship goes further, marriage, for instance, or the relationship ends. I don't know, okay? I don't know. This is like making, planting, planting seeds, and now it's time to collect. Okay, so she's happy, apparently, or people around them see her as being happy, always smiling. Now, fears, hopes, and advice. We have the Empress. Now, this could be a fear of uh, Alexandra getting pregnant. This could be Kiano's fear. This could be her fear. She might not want kids. Um, this is a very fertile type of card. This speaks of prosperity. This could be a fear of Keanu. She only, she's only with me because she's more interested in the prosperity that I have to give her. If this is an, an, an advice to Alexandra, it could be um, invest in your... I'm going to say femininity, but it's not correct. It's not correct. It's not what I want to say. It's like invest in, in all that is creative. All that is true and beautiful and creative, do that. That's the advice. Not fake, but real. So go deep inside yourself. Um, discover yourself like the true feminine nature of yourself and be creative within that, within that root, from that root of truth, if this makes any type of sense. And be creative from a place from from inside, from a, a place of truth, to just invest in true beauty, in, 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 in true creativity, if this makes any type of sense. This could also tell me that she got, could get pregnant, and that could be the harvest, okay? The harvest is that she could get pregnant, and I don't know, could be, oh, if it's not that, they could decide to adopt. Now, I just thought house, he might buy a, a house. If, mm, I don't know. The 
the uh, outcome we have the king of swords now the king of swords lays down the law this could be a contract marriage contract for instance i don't see it that way but it could be any type of contract that they comes to an end or that they do or something connected with being in business together doing some sort of project together that demands a contract or problems with the law because a secret comes to light concerning her so there would be problems with the law and this could be law enforcement this could be lawyer you know this could be also Keanu laying down the law and not going further or there are problems with the law, something connected with the law. Uh, so the, I'm gonna stay strong. Life will present you with many trials. This could be literally a trial. And she's worried about the trial because secrets will come out about how domineering she is. And he's hiding in his work. So this is for the next 12 months. I'm gonna do something else. I'm going to, if I can find it, I'm going to see the clarification card using the uh, mystical tarot for each one of these 10 cards. So, okay. So Keanu Reeves and uh, Alexander Grant for the next 12 months. These are like the clarification cards for each one of these cards. So things could be more clarified okay again i remind you if you'd like to work with me as your personal ghostwriter if you'd like to give like a, a a great fantastic story and for a loved one to a loved one you know for instance a fifteen thousand word novelette to your grandson or granddaughter and they could be like the stars you know whatever thing that they like if they are into dragons i can write a story and they are the hero <laughs> a story with dragons and something for instance 15,000 words and they, they would know that no one else has that book they only they're the only ones that have it and they get to keep the rights so if they want to uh, expand on that story they can so let's see let's see let's see let's see and write to me at tuniazada.gmail.com if you're interested in that so, Keanu Reeves and Alexander Grant, Keanu Reeves and Alexander Grant, clarification card for each one of these cards, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, okay, so, secret that comes out concerning work, so it could be concerning her work. Uh, because it's the Eight of Pentacles. A secret that comes out concerning routine. Or a secret that comes out concerning how this relationship is a bit boring. Because the Eight of Pentacles could be a bit boring. That which is yet not seen, we have the String card with the Temperance card. Huh. Hmm. Okay, I said domineering, controlling, yeah. But there's a... Uh, a presence of the temperance card makes this domineering thing be a bit more passive so it's not out there it's not out in the open it's a domineering controlling something but it's subtle also it's like the guardian angel if she is domineering or if he is domineering I would say she because she has the rising sign in Leo it's it's controlled it's being uh, it's like his guardian angel and her guardian angel are just attenu attenuating those tendencies, making them light lighter. Now, that which is yet not seen, no, I'm sorry, the basis is something which is not seen by Keanu because it's the hermit card. Keanu doesn't see something. He doesn't, he's not following his intuition. Uh, the past is defending yourself and then... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is awesome. Uh, this is the Hierophant. It's like defending himself from marriage. <laughs> I don't know if she mentioned it, but of others mentioned it. It's it feels like no, I don't want to get married. No, <laughs> no, it feels like that. Or defending 
himself from something stable, a relationship stable and and uh, like just not necessarily marrying but uh, making a commitment, defending himself from a commitment. I will only be with you and no one else. And he's like, nah, nah, I don't want to do that. Now, uh, that which is in, I would say, her mind, she's worried about something connected with justice, with the law, or with a woman, late 30s or after the age of 40, from an uh, air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Gemini or Aquarius, so a specific woman, or she's very much in her, her head, and she's like going around in her head, uh, trying to rationalize something, trying to be smart, trying to outsmart something or someone, it's not working, or she's very much afraid of the law, of a case that's in court. Two to three months from now, something comes to light, I would say concerning money and legacy, because it's the Ten of Pentacles, or a project with both of them, uh, they work on a project together, and it could bring lots of money. <coughs> I'm sorry. So, the next card, <coughs> sorry, represents, could be the relationship, could be him, could be Keanu. I said it was Keanu that he hides in his work. Um, uh, the clarification card, this is the Two of Pentacles, this tells me that it's it's a way to make him more grounded. Like if he if he doesn't feel grounded inside of himself, if there's any type of things outside of him that are unstable, like a relationship or anything that's unstable, he goes to his work, and he just devotes himself totally to his work. That's how he copes. That's what he, it feels like to me that he's doing in this relationship now. The outside world, or maybe this represents her, we have the Seven of Coins, which I said it was a harvest. And then, oh, interesting. We have a Libra, the, the Justice card, a harvest. This could be a karmic relationship. This is a harvest within the next 12 months, whatever they had to live with each other, it will end because there will be a harvest. And it will be good for her because it seems like she's smiling. Or there's a contract. Again, there's a contract. The harvest is a contract. Could be anything connected with work, with business, or, again, marriage. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong, okay? Uh, like the harvest of a contract, if this makes any type of sense. It feels like she gets what she wants at, at, at some level. Uh, and then... Hopes, fears, and advice. We have the Empress with the three. Interesting. The three of pentacles. To me, if this is, a, is a, an advice to her, the advice is for her to be true to herself in terms of her art. Okay? she. It's like a way to develop her own feminine qualities because she's an Aries. And Aries is a masculine sign. So, in order to her to develop that uh, feminine side, more receptive, more creative, again, she needs to devote herself to it, kind of like Keanu. Yeah, because he seem, he's, he's like an, an, a workaholic. He kind of needs, she kind of, she, he can be a, an example to her on how to work, on how to go deep inside yourself and just emulate him in order to create something beautiful in terms of art in her own work. Or this could be asking opinion, asking an opinion in terms of art. Could be, I don't know, it could be helpful for her. Working in a group could be helpful for her. And she would be happy. And if she's happy, the relationship with Keanu, Keanu would be happier. Another way of reading it, I just thought about it, is the Empress is the mother. So asking the opinion of the mother. So Keanu should go to do his mother <laughs> and asking the opinion about what you think of the relationship that I have in, with Alexander Grant. Please tell me your opinion. This could be the, the advice for him. 
Um, and then finally the King of Swords with the Chariot. It's like moving on. Or leading. I said court. I said courtroom. I said... Oh, this is Cancer. He has a lot of Cancer. I think at the end he has to take the lead. So the, the King of Swords with the, with the Chariot Chariot is Cancer, he has like three planets in Cancer. Uh, at the end, he's gonna have to... I don't know, I don't know if there's like a trial and he has to appear on that trial or he has to decide something and lead the way in terms of this relationship in a very defined sort of way. Kind of he has to say what he thinks and feels and he has to lead where this relationship is going. But he might give her something. I don't know what this is. King of Swords, a contract. A contract that will help him leave. I don't know. He might be leaving the relationship because he, he will have work. So he'll have to work in other places, in other countries. So something is defined with her. I'm not thinking marriage, but I don't know. Or hiring a lawyer, hiring someone to solve something. I don't know if they have any type of contract together. This could be business, this could be something else, but it kind of, it feels like he lays down the law before he leaves because he has to leave in order to work on something feels like this. This is a, the... I don't know if this relationship ends or not. If it does, I would say that for her it's not necessarily a bad thing because she'll, she'll get something out of it. And he hides in his work. That's the feeling that I have. He hides in his work. Hmm. You can tell you can come back within a year and tell me if I'm wrong, if I'm right. Uh I don't know. I don't know. Okay? Please don't sue me anyone. This is for entertainment purposes only. Again, if you'd like to work with me, my name is Agatha Simões. My email is dunyazada.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye bye!